Hi everyone, welcome to our screencast. My name is Pauline and in this series of screencasts, we will show you how you can get your development environments up and running in Gitpod. In this first video, I'll talk you through how you can get started. Getting your cloud development environment set up with Gitpod is pretty easy. There are three ways you can do this. The first way is to prefix your GitHub, GitLab, or Bitbucket repo with Gitpod io slash hash. The second way is to download our Gitpod extension. The third way is creating a new Gitpod environment through our dashboard. I'll talk you through all three of these options. For the first option, which is prefixing your URL, all you need to do is head over to your Git repo. I have an example here on GitHub, but as I said, this can work on GitLab and Bitbucket. So all you need to do is prefix this with gitpod.io slash hash. And then now what it's doing is it's creating a cloud development environment and opens up a workspace. And as you can see here, we've now opened a workspace in VS Code and the browser. However, as you will continue to see in our other screencasts, we also support other IDEs, um, but I won't go into that in this video and I'll show you how you can get started quite easily just using the browser. Another way to get started with Gitpod is by installing our extension, which is available on Chrome and Firefox. Once you have that extension installed, a Gitpod button will show up on any Git repo. As you can see here, all you would need to do is click this button and it will start a new workspace. You can also configure this extension in your extension settings. I'm using Chrome. So once I go onto the Git pod extension and then scroll down to extension options, you will see an option that says enable dot keybind to open repositories in Git pod. Once you have this set up, it's even easier to get your dev environment in the cloud up and running. And finally, you can also start a new workspace directly from the Gitpod dashboard by clicking new workspace and pasting in the repo URL directly from here and starting a new workspace. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope that you learned something. If you have any more questions about Gitpod, feel free to drop into our community Discord server over at gitpod.io slash chat. We'll see you there.